Uh, let's talk about the Titans draft if we can really quickly. Rajin, Fenrir, Artemis, Loki, Vimana. Vimana's an interesting pick here. Do you think this Titans 5 works, though, and do they have a chance against the Leviathans in Game 1? It's a very high execution draft. And when I say high execution, you can almost say that about every draft that doesn't have consistent CC, and I think that's fair to say about the Titans, but if they pull an early lead, hard to slow them down. Will Jean Kui get his first win of the year? Game 1 between Leviathans and Titans starts right now. We'll find out, won't we, Dave? Thanks very much, Dave and Myth on the desk. Into game we go. And it's going to be Oxidalabion in the solo lane. Me and Taka were kind of discussing a bit of a better job farming. Obviously, Oxidalabion in this squad for Leviathan. So it's kind of changed the, what this game could have been with Titans up against Leviathans. I think it was very even. If anything, it's been Leviathans that have had a lead for a while now, undefeated so far in Phase 2. But a real chance for Titans to win this one today, even more so. And it'd be tricky if they don't, if I'm honest. Tower Dive looking to be the first blood opportunity here. Benji going to tank it up for the time being. And it'll be Scary D with the oh first well. blood. But the Tower Tank toggle did not <laughs> effectively face. work out. Scary actually going to take the Tower aggro for the SPL <laughs> mid laners in Season 8. At least for Season 8. Yeah, I was going to say, I mean, the other aspect of this from my angle is, like, they trust in Jean-Cui even when they're having to use a substitute today, too. So it shows that they really do no, have that's value. that's what influenced them to take it. Really? They, they needed the, the big guns. They needed another big frontline boy in Jongadonga. Well, Scary, he gets a solo kill on the right-hand side, or should I say a duo Q just caught off camera there. Jith is a bit rookie, you know? He's got to catch up a little bit. But we should have Possibility for the Leviathan to so now look towards this Gold Fury, even cool. without the Fafnir having that draconic form, Coer still effective enough, but it's going to be actually Hakkor on the chase. Giddy Beat. up, not going to be able to knock Cyclone back just yet. Good dive in from Yoko. Still tanking the tower for his team to allow his damage dealers in melee range to get on in and find the kill. Panaton credited with that. And that really was Leviathans, like you said, finding pressure on Scary D on this left-hand side. Created a potential goal yeah, period that turned into an act here of one team fight could really blow the game wide open in either direction right now. And it's Leviathans with a ton of sustain that could come into play here with Terror over here along with the rest of the squad. And also that curse aren't being used momentarily a go by a roar. This is an opportunity. Gold Fury getting low. Pulled into the corner. A roar leaps on in towards Oxy. Panitom is only away. Cyclone and Paul at the same time. Gold Fury is reset. And Cyclone does take down Panitom. But Benji got hold of Yorko at the back. And that's the issue with the big baby on the back line alongside a roar. Now looking towards Oxy who's going to be in trouble too. Shinto was left ex Supposed for Scary D, and one team fight later, four members of Leviathans are dead, and the Titans take the gold fury. Patience is a virtue for a reason, I suppose, and Tartarus Titans recognize that their best fight is before. Took so long for anything to really break out there. Leviathans maybe getting a, a little bit too ambitious, I think, with popping that belt or uh, the girdle. Excuse me, hold my thought that he just caught. Loses the 1v1 there. I know a roar was around, but that wasn't really an impact at all. Interesting trade out between the two, and that was Paniton being two levels okay. down at the moment. It's up to Leviathans on base defense to see what they can do. All relics are still coming back up for some members. Aegis down on Paul. Couple sets of beads, though, and Leviathans are down, and that should be something Titans recognize. Hammer hits from Wrong Yu onto a roar, as now the Titans step into the throne room and take <laughs> out Oxy, who can't do much against that. Beautiful space creation from Aurora there on that left side, Phoenix. And it's the best Phoenix for the Tartarus Titans to take out first. But two members dead for 40 seconds in Duke means that these T2 Towers don't really stand much of a chance. To work to on it. It's about synergy and working as a team. So even if it's slow going for them to find the wins, a W is a W at the end of the day. So trying to find that here as now Leviathans try and group up on around the right-hand side. Wrong Yu forced to wall to way. Benji versus Sheen to the left-hand side is going as Wrong Yu's taken into the sky on that dragon. Thanks to Ragnarok from a roar. Panitom now using the Windsor Shamash to slow them down. But he gets collapsed on by Paul at the same time as Scary D gets hold of Shinto. Yarko does at least take down Scary D for the shutdown. All the while, though, minions are flooding into the Titan room from the side of Titans here to try and keep the pressure on Leviathans. And this one could be the writing on the wall here as now all the members of Titans minus Scary D start to mosey on down mid to join that fire minion wave on the Titan. But even with Rongyu and Hardcore getting these backs off, the Titan HP just simply too low for the Leviathan's backline and Blast Tanning frontline member to really deal with. An unfortunate one for the Leviathans, but definitely a nice confidence booster yeah, for the Turner's Titans. Either Hachiman or Baba Yaga. It's really about 
how easily are you going to be able to get Artemis involved? She's right. the, the main question mark for me. She doesn't have a leap. She doesn't have a great way to close gap. If she uses that Vengeful Assault for the movement speed buff to get into the enemy's back line or even further into their front line, well, she's losing that slow immunity, which is going to make it harder to deal with gods like Baba Yaga, like Odin. So it's going to be very interesting to see how Yarkor plays around this pick. Yeah, Yarkor is not, not the type to, to shy away from a challenge. No, he's running he? Yeah, He wants to run in and... The Artemis might be able to help him out in that regard. Game number two, Tartarus Titans Leviathan starts right now. Thanks so much, Dave. I'm from the desk. Yes, into game two we go. And for me, Taco, I'm very excited about seeing what happens in the duel in this game. Obviously, a raw Cyclone Odin Hachiman up against the Horus and Artemis yeah, this game. For Leviathans just... to have some really strong collapse here up against the Tartarus Titans. Well, the big difference here is you see Cyclone on the left-hand side pressured by Yorkor hard enough for him to use his ultimate <laughs> defensively there. We'll be safe as Tusky does some work on those minions over time. I will check in that gold lead that we talked about, the Leviathans are behind the oh. Monster Titans, is really on this solo lane side. The net worth between Benji versus Oxy at the moment, you can see the difference is 1400 gold. Scary in the jungle though, picked apart and deleted before Aurora could even get involved. That trap CC combo with a pin, very painful. Scary just getting absolutely punished for not having bees is that first relic, and that's the, the first after getting that boar forced out of him. I, I think that it says a lot for Artemis' damage output just off the kill that they were able to find. Well, Leviathan still with a bit of a power play on this left-hand side. Stun onto a roar, into a trap, into the knock-up. Goodbye, a roar! You were deleted! Cyclone can only really watch on. No ultimate available or beads is up, but what's he really going to do to defend it over by that combo? And that is a disgusting combo. Artemis, Horus, and that was played inch perfect. Any sort of stun lock opportunity is going to be the ultimate setup imaginable, but Ooh. that's not to say that Paul isn't looking to try and strike a little bit Ooh. of presence of his own. Home sweet home, dealing some good damage for the start <gasps> beneath them's HP bar, just absolutely a goner to this damage output by oh. the Baba Yaga. Left hand side though, Scary D rotating into put pressure on Yoko and Rongyu who are trying to zone Cyclone away from this minion wave coming in. A raw coming back from spawn too, forced to tank the tower there as Shinto in mid lane hung around for Benji to find the kill there on the rotation. Cyclone meanwhile on this left hand side is going to end up falling down. Yoko and Rongyu dived a tier one tower there and they're both still alive. Great talk from Panitum to buy Yoko some time. He's still on the run. A raw's cooldown should be up soon. The Juggle's good, but the bomb is there. A raw still can't find the kill. Needs one more hit, and Scary will blink on him for the kill. And now it's Panitom versus two. Scary's out of mana here, but the minion wave comes into play, and Paul's rotation from mid with Shinto dying there goes in Titan's favor. And now they're in the power seat. No and one's going to be brawling with a level 16 Vimana, much less one that has stone cutting void shield yet again. Such an aggressive, impactful build here for Benji. And he's not done with Shinto just yet. Shinto actually going to lose his purification beads and the Erlong taunt to boot. Benji with the two for one special. Drangu's ultimate expended as well, and Aurora's still deep on the chase. All getting Shinto with a danger as the blue buff drops down. Obviously, can't really do too much here as Benji's still chasing in. Level 16 on this Vimana, and the Odin case drops down. The Phantom used still won't keep Panatom alive, though he used his ultimate defensively earlier to get Shinto out of danger. Great play from Titans on the right hand side to keep the pressure rolling, though. Yarkor on the left. Going to try and continue to press and get that tier one tower one solo at all. The problem is, I think the solo talent pool of the SPL is so potent at the moment. It's very tricky for you to really leave a window because now Benji's got a four level. These are these are level 12s fighting a level 17. It's taking the whole goon squad to try and bring him down. And the big baby form will get him away even with that cursed onk here. A lot invested in the chase still on though from Leviathan's now looking for the rest of the team. Scary D could be the target. Panitom looking at Cyclone. Cyclone will ult away. Now Scary D isolated, pinned in place, uses his beats and the double dash. Round the back though, Aurora's looming. But so you can see his Artem is starting to rotate in here. Oh, in ring drop down and go uh, sorry phantom used there to disengage leviathans for now scary double dashes away panitum low and in comes paul home sweet home's gonna take down another one as our might have been left into the abyss here wild hunt's gonna come out but tusky's not buying him enough time the collapse is still coming through from aurora oh, benji now back full <laughs> hp ready to sprawl it out and four members still alive from leviathans but not sure that Tartarus Titans feel it's in their best interest to keep this engagement going. However, Hindu, yeah. have to point out, 
Xelidon still here, and this left hand side still seems as though Leviathans want more. But what they, they just don't have a way to threaten. I just don't know what we're after, though, is the real question. I saw the chase onto Titans. It was Benji that got aggressive. They and still failed to kill this Vamana, so clearly they can't really afford to expend all of their cooldowns onto Benji, but at the same time, how else are you really meant to kill him? Completely agree. A lot invested there is now Shinto looked at in mid lane. Will dash away, stay inside the ghost as long as he can. But the ring drop down keeps him pinned in. The apple was connecting there onto a raw. Didn't slow down the squad at all. Panitom level 13 in the jungle. Having a rough old time there up against Cyclone and Scary D, who's 18. But Yarko trying to punish Cyclone for his overextension here. Body blocks from Scary D came into play to keep Cyclone alive. And a killing spree now initiated. Four members again dead of the Leviathans and Titans start running it down towards the mid lane. Fire Giant could be the option here. After that wave is cleared at the tier two, it looks exactly where Titans are headed. Benji's got more than enough left in the tank in order to play zone duty here for the lone standing croc and Noxiliodon, while he might have an oh, idea Oxy. of trying to get in with Do that it, lurking Oxy. in the waters, it just doesn't really seem feasible. I'd have done it. For a level 15 I'd so big. <laughs> I'd have done it. What's the, what's the worst that could happen? So he dies, and then it's staggered respawn timers, and then the Tartarus Titan siege yeah. all the T2s for even more Listen, free than what it would have been. Lurking in the waters, for sprint on it. The wrecking ball mentality. There is still a chance. It's just a little oh, bit more swing. Blink from Benji in mid, just all in in Yarkor, and who's going to stop the big baby? Well, the body blocks more from Panitom there, who's doing a good job of like trying to protect his backline, but it's coming at the cost of his life every time so far. That's now one and five for him as Shinto gets all in by the three man of Titans who rotate in too quick. Oxy and Rongyu arrive on the scene. Not a whole lot they can do against this frontline army that's in, and Paul bringing out the house to make sure they know the pressure's still on. All the while, Titans abusing the map pressure they've found. Tier 2 tower on the left-hand side is taken down by Cyclone Spin alongside his teammate in Scary D, and they've already taken down a Phoenix as well. Middle Tier 2 is now the next on the cards, unless Titans want to farm some kills. Unfortunately for the Leviathans, it seems as though that first place in the standings. Play at the moment, and that's forced Oxaladion to come on in for the solo lane. And that's really just allowed you to see how much of a difference having two different solo laners can be. And the competitive nature of solo lane this year in SPL is just oh. too much. As Scarity whittles down the health bar of Panitam. And by whittle, I mean just annihilate it in seconds. Oh. Yoko and Rongyu are just trying to get farm on the left hand side. And Benji's like, guess what, boys? I'm the big baby. And no one's going to stop me in this form. The rest of the team is just focusing on Phoenixes. This one's pretty much done. I, I hope you saw that, by the way. Uh, 370 and auto here for Benji. Now with the well, acquirement of that build? animosity yeah. and, the, and the Toxic Blade acquisition as well. Meanwhile, the rest of the Tartarus Titans, they're going to be four-man grouped. Just Live looking Oxy. to take out the Titan. I just want to make sure Oxy lives now. I don't want him to get a death at the end of the game. In we go, Titans, into the throne room here. We expected game two to go a bit quicker from Titan's point of view, and it really did as they grabbed the bull by the horns in this one and take out Leviathans in two straight games. No disrespect to Levi uh, for Titans there at all. I think they played as, as a